look at Colossians 2 2. And, you know, Colossians 2 2 talks about the this assurance that comes from from a, from understanding. And I know this is talking about understanding who we are in relation to Jesus Christ uh, in Colossians 2, but there, the, the, the verse is, is significant because it talks about an assurance that comes from, from understanding. Verse 2, that their hearts may be encouraged, having been knit together in love, attaining to all the wealth that comes from the full assurance of understanding. You see, there's a, there's a wealth, there's a sense of, of uh, security in having a, a full assurance of understanding, and that's what you need to grow. If you do not believe and teach eternal security, you will emphasize the fear of hell rather than the love of Christ as the motivation for living the Christian life. In other words, you're going to keep everybody scared to death. You're going to be hanging them over the fire to get them motivated. Hey, if you... If you don't uh, do right, God's going to pull back your salvation. You're going to fall into hell. So you better smarten up, you know, fly right. And that's how a lot of people, why a lot of people don't like to teach eternal security because they want to keep people uh, afraid. They want to keep them off balance because they think that that, that, uh, that brings about some sort of spiritual maturity when in reality it does exactly the opposite exactly the opposite you know it's the love of Christ that constrains us not the fear or the hatred or the wrath of God that constrains us it's the love of Christ and uh, so this is a great motivation for us